Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some FTB Skies Expert Mode. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. I am. So, last episode we got together, we made us a mob farm and we just kind of made our way through a couple of quests. Uh, I haven't really done much since then. I've killed a couple of mobs, I kind of looked through to see where we needed to go, and I made us a clipboard so we can stay focused. That's the plan. So, this is what we've got to do for the next uh, episode or two or three. I don't know how long any of this is going to take. Um, but we've got get Blackstone because we're going to need it for lava. We've got to fight witches to get redstone. We've got to get into hexery in order to get our lava. Uh, we need to uh, make our farms uh, bigger. We need to get to where we're making a bunch of seeds so we can get into our plant oil stuff, which we're going to need to make the mixer for, which we're going to need the mixer anyways. Uh, oh, too, too many buttons. Um, we need to, that's on there, mixer. Uh, squeezer, then get into biomass, peat, our cobble gin, and our super cooler. And once we get through all of that, then we can get into our next bit of resource gathering. We can get into our magic stuff, which gets us into the uh, other tier of our next tier of ingots and stuff like that, and gets us into our pedestals eventually. Uh, so yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. So first things first is Blackstone. Um, uh, to get Blackstone, uh, we need, uh, this guy, uh, where is it? This guy right here. Uh, we've got several different ways to do it, but the way we're going to do it is with the bulk haunting. So we're going to need to make us an encased fan. Should be easy enough. Propeller, we probably going to have to make another andesite casing. We're not casing, but, uh, oh no, we still got andesite alloy. Good, 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 good. We need those. Um, we need our shafts. And we're also going to need this guy right here. So, first things first. Let's get this guy down. Let's get that guy down. Uh, we need us a pickaxe. And now we should be able to make us a propeller and make us an encased fan lovely uh we're going to set this up over here and use a different soul fire than that one uh this looks like a good spot here so let's do that let's do uh this right here we can use this guy on this i was not aware of this and there's that, and we can put us a piece of something here. Don't matter. And now we should be able to take cobblestone, which I don't have any of. This one thing I think I forgot to get. I have two pieces. And we've got seven slabs, which means we can do that, and I can get that. And that actually ought to be enough for what we need. So if I throw these guys right here, and we... No, I need to shift. And I think that just burn them up. Yeah, I burned them up. Because I blew them the wrong way. Alright, so let's get us some more. Uh, let's throw some torches in here somewhere. Looks good enough. Uh, we're going to need to get us some food right quick before we do this again. And let's try this again. I've not ever got the bulk haunting stuff to actually work. We will see. Oh, it did work. Yay, we got Blackstone. All right, so we can mark that off of our list of stuff to complete. Lovely. 
now we need to get to some more food and we'll go on about fighting some witches um i have not ate a fortune cookie yet it's all in the wristwatch. Um, ow, that hurt. Yeah, that wasn't very smart. All right, so for fighting our witches, if we go in here, we've got a quest here for the Endless Witch Gate Pearl. Uh, this guy, uh, it works just like the uh, chicken one did, which you throw it down. And it starts a, opens a gate to witches. And I don't know if we, did we get the chicken one back? I don't remember if we got the chicken one back. We're supposed to get this one back. So we need a ender pearl for this. We are also going to need a earth shard. And we've got that and we've got that. That gives us that. So that should be quest complete. Uh, let's see. So it says your earliest source of redstone is from killing witches. The endless witch gate can be crafted with simple mob drops and will cause witches to spawn indefinitely until you fail the wave timer, at which point the pearl will return to you to use again when you need it. All right, so that gives us a witch hazel sapling, some XP, and some bamboo spikes of poison. Now, that is what we are going to try with this. I got an energetic sheep spawn egg. Oh, we've got the... There's a, a bee floating around here, and I cannot catch none of his stuff. But he's all gone now. Well, why they fly away off the island. Anyways, uh, I seen... Oh, he's off that way. Dropping my stuff in the void. All right, anywho, we're going to set us up a platform off to the side here, and uh, we're going to do a, a bunch of bamboo spikes on it and see if we can cheese this. I don't know if we're going to be able to or not, um, but that's why I've been growing a whole bunch of bamboo. Uh, it was for this reason altogether was just so we can I can make a sword and make this a whole lot easier but I don't have stuff so I'm going to do that get us a platform set up and see if we can kill a bunch of witches I'll be back all right so we've got this platform set up uh, there is about a stack and a half of bamboo spikes. We're going to see if this is going to work. I do have me a little wall to hide behind if I need to. So let's see. Um, no, I need a spot, I guess, to actually throw this thing. All right, take two. And, oh, they're standing on top of it. Dang it. Um, that was not what I wanted. Uh, let's. Timer has expired. We didn't get anything. All right, let's try this again. Okay, it does work if we can get them to not fall on a board or not or on a platform. So, yeah, they're falling. Then all we got to do is once they die, just make our way into here and get the redstone. That's annoying, I know. Well, that sucked. Oh, it spawned on top of me. Uh, let's go ahead and let that die. And hopefully... I guess maybe I accidentally picked it up and threw it again. I'm not sure. But let's get that. Let's get that. 
we can use our axe. Break it all, and we got redstone. So we do have a way of doing this. What's up there? More redstone. So we got 34 redstone out of that. Not bad. That should at least get us started. We can just put this guy down here. I can go on about our business. All right, so now that we've got that done, we can go ahead and claim a few quests here. Uh, we got... We didn't get one for killing a witch. So that means we've got to do that. Uh, and before we do that, we're going to make us a actual iron sword. I don't want to make iron sword, but we need... I'm going to need at least that. What did I do with all of my plates? Right there. And we're just going to do this right quick. And hopefully we can get this quest complete so we can move on about our business. Um, so we'll throw one down, kill it right quick, and then we'll disappear. So that... All right, we got it. Um, those guys can go away. Uh, are you going to follow me? Yeah, they're going to follow me. Um, they're not really that bad to kill. All right, anyways, uh, oh, it, I knocked it off. All right, so now that quest is ready to be complete. That gives us eight more pieces of redstone, and we're ready to move on. So we need to make uh, a blood sigil. In order to do this, we need to make a mixing cauldron, which we've got everything we should need for this. Uh, let's sleep. And... Iron plates. Uh, let's do this. We're going to need this guy. So that. There is our cauldron. We need some copper. Which are in that one right there. And then I need some stone. Which we had some. I don't know if that's enough. It is. So there is our mixing cauldron. Lovely. And with that, mixing cauldron takes exactly eight input items and a liquid and produces a new item. That means a recipe. Yeah, we know all about that. Or I don't know about that, but we've got to that. And for now, um, let's kill all of these. We got what we wanted out of the bamboo for the moment. And we can go on about our business. Um, and I need to clear out some inventory space. Alright, so let's get our little clipboard out. Uh, we have fought witches. And now I've realized that this stuff is in uh, not the order that we need to do stuff. So... I thought we would be able to do this blood sigil, uh, but we can't do that till we get to the biomass. So, since we can't do it till we get to the biomass, let's get started down that track. So, first things first is we are going to need to make the squeezer. Let's get that done. I've got that. We need uh, some sticks. We've got sticks. I need wood. And that is two planks. So there is our squeezer. And we're also going to need a bootin' for this guy. Um, right there seems like a good spot for now. Alright, so next up on our list. Uh, that's got that. That's going to give us a basic fluid tank. 
and a lodestone. Um, I don't know why we need a lodestone right now. Um, fluid tank we really don't need right this minute. So next up on our list is to make the mechanical mixer. Uh, we're going to need it to make several different things. So we're going to need those guys. We're going to need, I've got wood. I've got that. And I've got plates. So there's that. We're going to need one more andesite casing. Or andesite alloy. And that down. And we're going to need one of those and one of those. And now we've got us a mixer. Lovely. Quest complete. That gives us a funnel and some salad. Lovely. So now that we've got that, we can look at making biomass. Uh, and with the biomass, we can get into making peat. Uh, but not that way. Uh, peat. So we need to make the dry peat bog, which is dirt for biomass and either coal dust or charcoal dust, which is why we need the squeezer. So, that is where we're going to look at working now. Um, let's get this guy placed down. Let's get the mixer placed down. We're probably going to need to make one more Uh, of our gears for now and hopefully we can do this without having to do the water wheels um, that's not what we need we need uh, that will work yeah that's not right There we go. All right, so we need the biomass first, which was coal dust and four bone meal, which we should still have quite a bit of bone meal. Maybe. No. There it is. And we're also going to need, uh, we've got charcoal. Let's do charcoal for the minute. That's not what I wanted. Let's do our charcoal. That's only going to do one piece at a time. And we just hop up and down on this. The button come off of it. Button goes here. And... Beautiful. We've got our charcoal dust. All right, so now that we've got our charcoal dust, we can now mix it to make our biomass. Let's get this recipe up here so it's four and one. That guy, that guy, none of that stuff went in there. And let's see if we can hand crank this. Looks like it. And we've got eight biomass. Beautiful. Squared away. We're good with that. And for the peat, the dry peat bog, we need three dirt, four biomass, and then two more of those. We're going to have to do, uh, let's get some dirt. 
Oh, this will be one of those processes that'll be so nice to get. So two of those. And there is our dry peat bog. And this guy, we place it near water. We'll slowly turn into the uh, saturated peat deposit. All right, so we've got our saturated peat. We take this guy, place it inside of here. Probably going to need some more fuel. And there we go. We have our first piece of peat. So why is that not giving me... Oh, I don't have all the other prerequisites for that. So now we have the peat generator. We can make this guy. If we can get some nether quartz, which I don't think we... Yeah, we can. No, we can't get. No, wait, yeah, we can. Um, the material generator, the peat generator uses... Breaks down peat in order to... Uh, you can use peat to make the generator. Not to make the generator, to make power with the generator. So, and then we've also got the Slow Melter 9000, which is, we're still going to need a bunch of quartz for this. We're going to need copper and a bunch of iron. So, I am going to get at it. We need quartz. We need copper, we need iron, we need all the above. I'll be back. Alright, so we should have everything we need now in order to do this. So first things first, uh, the, use, the copper shards. We need to take these, um, 28, and throw these in the mixer. And that will give us the copper chunks that we can smelt down to get our copper ingots. So that's part one of this. Come on. So there we go. We've got those. We can throw those... We need to just go ahead and use coal. That's I can probably bundle those and make it last longer, but uh, yeah. And then we also need to get a bunch of iron plates, which was the iron substrate, the iron substrate. Um, just in case we need more of that. And I need to put a water wheel back. And that's going to give us our iron plates. Alright, so we're ready to get started crafting this stuff. So first thing first, we need to make our peat generator. Which is this guy right here. We need... some kind of iron sheet or some kind of sheet metal we need to make our observers which I need some more cobblestone for that two observers we need a pity machine frame where's my wood
Now, all this is stuff that we're going to have to wind up going back, and I've got enough for one. I need three more. But this is all stuff that we're going to have to go back and um, do again. But we don't. Automating it now would make life a lot simpler. But at the same time, it's also one of those things of if we um, just wait a minute, we'll be able to move on. So that's two of the three that we need. Or three of the four that we need. And it's, yeah, we're just waiting on these. All right. Now we should have that. We should have what we need for those guys. Light engineering block. We are going to have to make two more sheet metal, which means I got to wait for some more iron plates. How many do we have? Two. All right. Now we should have what we need. Let's do our iron sheet metal. And there we go. There is our peat generator. And like I said, we can give this guy some peat. We've got a piece of peat. And it will generate power. I don't know. Oh, it does show us enriched. So this is going to generate 40,000 RF a tick. Not 40,000, 40 RF a tick uh, to 100,000, I guess that is, is how much? So 640,000. I don't want to place it down and break it just yet, or to put it in there just yet and then break it. So we'll hold on just for a minute before we do that because we got to find us a spot that we're going to start putting some of this stuff. Uh, so, But that quest is now complete. That give us another pity machine frame that should actually get us what we need for. There's that. There's those. And there is our slow melter 9000. Which gives us conveyor belts which we can probably use to transport some stuff around. We've got the peat farm, which we'll worry about later. But now that we've got all that, we're ready to go on, but we are also out of time. So, uh, we have got the mixer made. We've got the squeezer made. We made biomass, and we made peat. So now that we've got that, we are ready to move into getting our lava so we can get cobblestone for free. Uh, our super cooler is where we're going to need um, to get into to make some of the other items. And I don't really know what we need. There was something that we needed from this in order to progress. Archwood saplings. Those are the saplings that we needed for this. Flourishing archwood uh, to get all the archwood saplings to get into all this stuff. So yeah, that's where we are at. But with that, uh, oh wait, we got a couple of quests, more quests to complete before we do. Uh, powering up, we got the peat generator that gives us uh, a whole bunch of peat that'll get us started with um, generating some power when we get ready for it. Uh, we've got hexery. We got one for getting uh, the witchy trees, or at least one of the witchy trees. Now we have all the witchy trees and one for making the altar, which we got in a quest. And so we're there with that. Create. We claimed this one, or did this one, but we didn't claim it. That's about our stress units. We've got one for killing the witches earlier. We got one for killing more zombies earlier. That gives us a zombie data model. Uh, and we need to empty out our inventory so we can pick that guy up. We don't want to lose him. Um, it's faulty. But once we get into that, we've got it. Uh, and then we've got a quest for... 
our bamboo spikes. They give us a lot more bamboo. So, there we go. With that, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!